As a new decade dawned in 2020, everyday life seemed relatively normal. Then COVID-19, a new deadly coronavirus, spread across the globe and changed our lives. COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. As of June 2021, at least 177 million people have been infected and more than 3.8 million have died, though these are thought to be low estimates and numbers continue to rise. Lockdowns and other restrictions imposed in response to the pandemic also triggered the deepest global economic recession in a century, with at least 131 million people pushed into poverty. Still, the pandemic rages on as new, more contagious strains evolve. But this coronavirus is just the newest zoonotic disease to jump from animals to infect people. Since the mid-20th century, new and deadly human diseases have emerged at an alarming and escalating rate. About two-thirds are zoonotic, including AIDS, Ebola, swine flu, bird flu, Lyme disease, SARS, and now COVID-19. A mix of human activities helped these diseases to emerge, including widespread destruction of wild habitat, livestock production practices, the global wildlife trade, and unprecedented international travel and trade. Though we don't yet know the wild source of COVID-19, we do know bats were the original host for SARS, another coronavirus, which then jumped to civets and then to humans. The current pandemic serves as a warning. The international trade in wild animals for meat, pets, traditional medicine, fashion, and other purposes poses grave public health threats. Today, globalization fosters the rapid spread of once localized or emerging diseases. Nearly all zoonotic diseases originate in birds or mammals, which may carry 1.6 million different viruses. About 700,000 could present a risk to human health. Researchers have linked increased outbreaks of zoonotic diseases to extensive deforestation in tropical countries, much of it to meet growing global consumer demand for beef, soy, palm oil, and other commodities. With 7.7 .7 billion people on Earth, we're intruding ever deeper into the world's last wild places. This brings forest animals, livestock, humans, and the virus each of them carry into close proximity. Each year, millions of animals are taken from the wild for commercial trade. Many are weak or sickened from traumatic capture and transport to far off cities or countries, making them prime hosts for viruses. Wildlife markets and captive breeding facilities, with many species jammed together in often filthy, cramped cages, act like microbial petri dishes, becoming dangerous breeding grounds for the next pandemic. Wild animals and livestock can also swap pathogens, which then evolve to infect new vulnerable hosts that lack natural immunity to them, including humans, with undetected microbes then distributed around the planet. While wild animals are traded by all nations, data shows that China is the planet's largest consumer of wildlife. The U.S. ranks second with far lower volumes and very different products. Unlike other nations, though, China still farms wildlife species in captive breeding facilities. Several pandemics have originated in Asia. Bushmeat, often butchered at markets, is another source of disease transmission. Up to 5 million tons of bushmeat is hunted in the Congo Basin annually, the epicenter of the Ebola virus, first transmitted to humans via infected chimpanzees, gorillas, and forest antelopes. While the wildlife trade is a significant source of disease, it's not the only one. Dangerous livestock practices used by industrial scale agribusiness brought us avian flu, passed by chickens to people, and Nipah virus, which is passed on by pigs. 
The COVID-19 pandemic illustrates just how fast an outbreak can spread via international trade and travel. It sparked a global outcry to end the trade and consumption of wildlife, for a global crackdown on wildlife trade, and an end to wildlife farming in Asia. Experts say that to predict, prevent, and rapidly respond to future outbreaks, we need deeper knowledge of the threats and better disease surveillance by governments. Improved planning and enforcement could save countless lives. The COVID-19 pandemic has shown us that ecosystem health, animal health, and human health are inextricably linked, and that protecting nature protects humanity. Without action, we remain vulnerable to newly emerging viral threats. The takeaway message? Protecting wildlife and the planet's wetlands, forests, and grasslands could prevent the next pandemic, which may be just a plane flight away.